here we are, we're just leaving Patea. Uh, Lotus on the right of me. We're actually on the Sukhumvit Road now. Uh, I'm using my Note 10 uh, Galaxy at the moment. Uh, we're heading towards a mountain. It's got to put a, not carved into it, but uh, brass or gold strip around it uh, to make it onto the side of the mountain. I say we're going quite fast, so the jerking in the car can't be helped. But we'll try and stabilise it a bit later, so I'll switch off for now and probably start filming when we get a bit closer. Well, at the moment we're out in the country and we're fast approaching where we want to be. I say slowly, slowly, and to the right of me is the mountain. Ah, if I can quickly swing on, there's a lake. To the left. Let's see. It. Let's see. I'm not sure how stable this is going to be because I'm just using my phone at the moment. But the views are starting to get better and better. And hopefully, we'll catch up soon with. Oh, there's a temple in front of me. Okay. So we're pulling in to the left. Not sure, but. As you can see, there's some lovely temples in front of us, to the right. Right, this is the start of our journey. Let's quickly get myself into focus. And I'm not sure where we are. There, what's the name? Oh, oh well, she's walked off. What's the name? Oh, what more can I say? She just said put the Chinese. From the What's tiny? By, by feet for for right. by feet for What she's saying is that we buy hill, hill. We buy some fish and we put it into the lake. Yeah. And that's it for the way of uh, health. Anyway, let's take a nice stone mask on and I'll take the camera with me. I'll keep keep it on. It's, just adjust it slightly. That's a bit better. Sorry for the jerking. But there you go. I'm following her to buy some fish. Which they release into the lake. They normally scoop them up and get them back to sell. So here we are. Slowly, slowly, walkie, walkie. Ah. And there's a the fish. โอเคจ้าเอาเข้าชีพจ้าเท่าไหร่นะหนึ่งร้อยบาทจ้าจะมีหนึ่งตัวที่เป็นตัวละยี่สิบค่ะพี่หรือว่าพี่จะเอาต
There's a lottery ticket to sell on the street. And I believe what they do, they, they buy a pile, they then have a license to sell them. They make, I'm not sure, 10, 10 or 20 bar. But the ones they don't sell, they must keep. And if they win any prizes, they win them. If not, they're numbered with the tickets which they've had to pay the government for. Hey, different rules, different country. It's different, per se. Uh, first Emperor of China. And I think this is in dedication of. More so than uh, the Thai. Like I said, this is all functioning on Chinese rather than Thai at the moment. But I may be talking through my backside, but I'm just following the, following the lead. And as you see, just in front of me, a beautiful, beautiful lake. And I am following. Oh, well, they've got some benches. Oh, there are. You can see many fish being fed. Why <laughs> some of them fish? Oh, let's get on to a more level car. Uh, she's reading something. Not sure what, but as you see, it is so, so beautiful around here. A couple of orangs, which is foreigners, in front of me. They are well fed, and that's probably why they're so big. If you saw some of them, you couldn't go fishing. You couldn't go fishing in here. Look at the swarm of birds just going off. Mm. Or fight the birds, I'm not sure what they call it nowadays. But as you see in the distance, um, just show you someone's reading and reciting, praying to Buddha or the Chinese gods, I'm not 100% sure. And for so good health, good wealth. And what I do now, I'm just going to pan down. My hand. Into the your hand, your right. She's asked me with my hand to help her, and we let's see if we can do it. And we pour the fish into the water. Let's just hope they don't get eaten. Oh no, they have swum away. Come on, there's a massive what do you call a pangasia shaft. Ah, oh, yeah, we're feeding them now. Start they to feed them. Oh. Some of them are two foot long or more. No, they eat it. They not eat. Oh, oh no, they're, they're yeah. actually smaller. They're about a foot long. Mm -hmm. But as you see, yeah, they fit. Not sure that you can actually see in the water how big the fish are. But it's a sight to see. <laughs> Believe you me. Okay. Yeah, so you make that. Okay. Which means beautiful, big. I say there's quite a few people scattered along the place, feeding and praying. As you see, I just with a little uh, stick on my phone, so I'm not sure if you can hear me. So I'll speak a bit louder. But as you see, the views are very pleasant. Anyway, I'll stop for now because I think we're on our way somewhere else to pay more money to some Buddha or another. So, I think he's talking about coffee now. Anyway, I will come back to this, so this vlog is not finished by a long way. Well, this is where I actually wanted to come. I'm not sure what it's called, so I want to attempt to pronounce it, Kochi Chan or something like that. But as you can see, it's a Buddha. Uh, I won't say carved into the mountain, but it's, it's actually traces of copper or gold uh, inlays into the mountain. And very tall. I'm probably too far away to do it justice. But it looks like it's closed because of the Covid situation. Um, 
Not a lot to say, but I came here quite a few years ago and there's beautiful, nice steps that walk up uh, with a little lake and waterfalls and coffee shops and uh, a sort of tour you can do, but I say it's disappointed because I'm in one, one of the central uh, car parks and as you can see, absolutely empty. Absolutely, there's what, two? Maybe three cars? All those with shops closed. It's sad, sad to say, but with no tour tourists, it's pointless in being open. But, not sure if you can see from a distance. But, it's a beautiful sight to see when you're close up. Uh, I'm probably quite a few hundred yards away probably my voice is dimmed a bit but as I say it is a nice sight when tourists are out and about and as you can see just trying to set the camera a bit better but not disappointed seeing seeing the actual fish in a lake uh, that was open funny enough um, I didn't buy tickets because I thought it'd be too long a day uh, going in there and then coming here but as I said unfortunately this is not open sorry for the shaking I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances I've got to say it is sweltering and just to show you there's me in a right state sweltering in about 33 34 degrees anyway let's put my sunglasses on because it's quite blinding um, for Bundy and also trying to get the effect. Just, just twist the camera down slightly. That's a bit better. Anyway, let's go for a little walk. Uh, fortunately, no dogs around. That's one of the plagues in, in um, Thailand. It's dogs. And once you've got C1, normally you've got a pack of about 50 around them. And there are some horror stories of getting bitten and attacked by dogs over here. They have got vets that will take them in, take care of them. I'm not sure they actually um, kill them off or anything, but uh, it, it's amazing. For every person, there's a thousand dogs, I call it. Maybe I'm exaggerating, and I'm not 100% sure. Ah, there's something open down there. I don't know if it's a food or a coffee parlour. Uh, I'll just quickly spin round so you can see. There you have it. You have a bus parked up. I'm not sure if it's an actual touring bus or... Actually, there's no engine or radiator in the front, so... It looks like the last time it taxed was about five years ago. Let's see. Only card in the car park, apart from ourselves, is two there, and that's our, our car. Let's like say I'm not sure where she's gone. Maybe for a cool drink or something. Uh, but with the toys, they tend to eat three, four, five times a day. Ah, oh, there's another truck there. Um, I've got them four by four pickups. Then you've got. One, two, three, four, five, five motorcycles, and that's about it. Yeah, I've lost my friend, so I, yeah, just walk across the, I don't know what it is, there's some grass. Just checking there's no snakes, because you do get snakes over here, uh, hiding under bushes, rocks or whatever. So as I say, he's, my friend is sitting down, having something. Not sure what, but there you go. As I say, just quick folk above the little shops. Not many open today, and I, there's the mountain that I came to see. But I say, unfortunately, it's not open, so can't go in. Anyway, let's take a little break and see what the rest of the day is going to store for us. Right, I'm completely out of breath. 
I just been walking up the hill, top of the hill. I find um, it's open, so I'll spin round and show you what I wanted you all to see. As you see, there's nothing. Just adjust this slightly, and in the mountain is gold beading and the interpretation I've just been informed is for this Monday and so happens to be a Monday today but as you can see very very few tourists I came here several years ago I came here a few years ago. I'm not sure what happened with the camera then, but it just seemed to set it for some reason. But there you go. I'm still using the GoPro 10, recently purchased. And I'm just swinging around slowly. And when you have a volume of uh, people here, very impressive, very impressive. Anyway, I brought my bag with me because the battery's running low, even though I filmed the Chinese part. Now, there's a group of people or tourists, lady friend over there. There's some more there. And it is in the height of the height of tourist season, uh, a beautiful place to visit because, as I said, in front of us, where the Buddha is, let's see if I can get a bit closer. Um, normally, you've got waterfalls and water springing up all around, and it looks very, very impressive. I can now see a rope for some kind of winding going up to the Buddha, perhaps at night it's for their lighting. Uh, not sure if it was there before. Can't go much closer because it does say keep off the grass, but as you can see. Um, a pretty place to be and um, with the water cascading down the side of the mountain into the pond there and being picked back up and taken back home uh, it is usually a very good site but there again tourists are normally here ah, there are, I can see on, on the top now I'm not sure if you can see but there's big arc lights there actually there's one group there, another group there. If I spun on, there's probably more groups. But, like I say, in the height of the season when you've got the tourists and everything functioning, it's very beautiful. It's beautiful as it stands, actually. Uh, and in fact, without tourists, for me, it's better that I can drop my mask a bit and walk around and have nice fresh air blowing into me. Temperature it is, 33, maybe 34 degrees. So it is quite un unbearable at the moment and I'll be glad to get back in in the car which is a seven seater car with air conditioning uh, which I purchased while I was over here uh, rather than driving around on the motorbike but you see just show you once more swing around maybe a bit too fast then another time I'll put it on the stand and just let it film Especially if there were tourists here, uh, as you can see, that podium there in front of me. Normally, people stand up there, a few hundred people at a time, all taking pictures of what's behind me, the Buddha. And normally the grass is growing more, the plants are out a bit. I think they neglected a bit because of no tourists, they're not having much income. To come in, we had two army guards, we checked my COVID or P PCR test or whatever test uh, they they let me in gave them a few bar for thank uh, to thank them for letting us in as I say nice place nice place to be this has go a bit higher and as you can see beautiful not, I wouldn't say cloud-free day, but 
the clothes aren't going to produce anything other than melt away with the heat of the sun. I say slowly turn around, see if it can look better. And I hope you enjoy. That's the vlog for me for, to, for today. I think so, unless something springs up on the way back. You see they've got the five flags symbolizing different things. Once again, I don't get into the politics of it, but uh, they are the flags of Thailand. So my friends, it's bye for now, and I hope you enjoy this video. Trying to keep still, but there you go. One last final shot of the Buddha. I changed the battery because it was flat. I think it's down to about 6%. Uh, I'm holding this out on a stick, but my arm's aching a bit. <laughs> and the movement's probably not too clever, but there you go. As you can see, I'm sitting down actually, holding the stick. I'm just showing you the Buddha mountain. It is a good effect. As I say, it's pity about the waterfalls, but um, perhaps another time. But at least I'm out of Pattaya now, or Pattaya, and uh, I can't pronounce the, the Thai name of where we are, but as I said earlier, it's called Buddha Monday. One or two tourists, a couple walking by, somebody planted their push bike right in front of me, so trying to video it without that being seen is a bit difficult. But that's how tourists are over here, they don't give a damn about anyone as long as they're okay. But I suppose that, that's all over the world, so I can't blame Thailand or people that come to Thailand. Let's just enjoy the view. And as I said, hope to see you on the next vlog.